Hello everyone, this is Hamilton, Maddie, and Chad, and we are back with another SDL project. For this one, we will be graphing the solar system, actually, with polar coordinates. We'll be graphing all this on Mathematica, so you can see all the different planets in the solar system and how they uh, interact with each other. And then we'll also be graphing uh, Halley's Comet as well in the Cartesian plane, so you can see uh, kind of the curvature that it has. And with that, I'll turn the time over to Maddie, and she can go over Mathematica and kind of explain how we were able to graph this. Okay, so um, on here we have, uh, first I'll show you what equation we used. This is the equation we used, r equals ed over 1 minus e cosine theta. Um, the e stands for the eccentricity of the planet, which was just found online. And the d that we used was the average distance of the planet in astronomical units. So come over back over to Mathematica, and you can just see we have Mercury and the eccentricity of Mercury, the average distance in astronomical units. And we did that for all the planets. Um, scroll, there we go. And we also did it for Halley's Comet. Um, kind of interesting to just see what the different eccentricities are and the average distances. And then we plugged it into a polar plot in which we got this, where you have Mercury right at the center, and they go out, and you can just see this shows mostly the distance difference between the planets, how far away the planets are, and just how much further Halley's Comet is from anything else. It goes pretty, pretty far. Um, in the R theta plane, it doesn't really actually show you what the orbit looks like, it just shows you the size difference. And we will throw it over to Hamilton to show you how to do it in the XY plane. Alrighty folks, if we move our way over to Desmos, we can see how... Pause. Pause, 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 pause. Pause! Pause! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just have it set up on Earth already. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and move our way over to Desmos so we can check out the uh, polar coordinates in the X and Y plane. This will give the actual shape of the orbits. Uh, so here we have Earth. So we'll go ahead and zoom way in so we can see what it looks like. Look at little baby Earth. It is a perfect circle. Near perfect. Really the closer the eccentricity is to zero, the more circular it is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Halley's Comet. This will really show the difference in the shape that the orbits take. Because all you guys, most of you guys probably know that Halley's Comet uh, does not take a circular path. Uh, the eccentricity of Halley's Comet is 0.967. And the average astronomical units away is 17.8. So, we'll go ahead and... Zoom on back out. Look at that. There, you have the path of Halley's Comet going around what would be the sun right in the center. And for kicks and giggles, we'll go ahead and show you guys Pluto. Which, by the way, Pluto has a much larger distance away, average distance. And the eccentricity of Pluto is 0.2488. There we go. This has been Chad, Hamilton, and Maddie. Thank you for watching and come back next time.